Hello everybody, we're still in Photoshop Elements 10, but you can do this in uh, any of the Photoshop programs, Photoshop CS5, CS6, if you want to. Uh, you can see here I've got a picture of a pineapple, it's lit with the on-flash camera, all I've done is sit the pineapple on a glass in a room, and then just take a photograph. And there's some silly old man, that's probably me, uh, I've done the same thing, uh, camera on tripod, uh, on camera flash, just fired it off, nothing special really, uh, just in the dark room, just so we get a nice black background. If you don't get a black background, just fill it in with black paint. We're really only interested in the face and the pineapple. So select your move tool, so it's V on the keyboard, or just go to your little icon on the top there, hold down the shift key, drag it across with the shift key, release the mouse release the shift key, that'll drop your image on top of your pineapple. Let's just take the opacity down, because I want to move this. Uh, we're going to transform, so it's Control T or Command T, or you can go to Transform here from your Image drop-down menu. You can see there, Free Transform Control T. Uh, this will bring up some little boundary uh, markers around the outside of your picture. You can uh, mouse down on the corner and rotate it around there. Mouse down inside the image, just pull it across. We're just positioning, uh, getting that face inside the pineapple. Hold down the Shift key, and you can resize by mousing down on the corners. Pull it out. Trombone around with those corners there. Get your face positioned inside your fruit. Uh, other fruits are available. You might want to use a potato, uh, apples, oranges, anything you want. Uh, let me just take through this first. So we've transformed that, so just hit the return or double click inside it. And uh, let's take the opacity back to 100%. Don't forget to do that. Okay, we're going to duplicate the layer. So that's Control J or Command J. Uh, let's uh, duplicate the background as well. So we're going to do the same again. So it's Control J. Command J on that one, and we're going to move that up there. So mouse down on the background copy, drag it up between those two, and then we're going to just switch the eye icon off on off of that one to show you where we're up to. So we've got head fruit, head fruit, and when we're on the background copy there, I want you to change that blend mode to multiply. And let's take the opacity down of that back. Uh, well, we don't want the background copy, we want actually the layer copy. Let's take the opacity down of this one. Take it down to like 40, 45, 50%. We're just going to use this as a template to paint through because what we're going to do is we're going to add a mass to this background copy, this pineapple. Uh, so we're adding a mass to that. And we're going to paint through this mass. So we're going to use the brush. So either use B on your keyboard or just go across there. Click on your icon, uh, your paintbrush. Uh, we're going to drop the opacity down, so either use the slider at the top here, so slide it down. Uh, if you know your keyboard shortcuts, just go onto your numerical. I'm going to hit the 3 on the uh, keyboard, that'll give me 30%, or hit 5. That'll give you 50%. Don't forget, you can use the square brackets to increase or decrease the size of your brush on the fly. Let's just go in a bit, so uh, Control plus plus. And I'm going to paint on the mask with my paintbrush at 30%. Okay, not a lot happening because we've got the top layer active. I'm just using that as a guide to get going. And I'm just painting as careful. I, <laughs> you know what I say, there's nothing as exciting as watching somebody painting in Photoshop in one of these tutorials. But I'm just giving you an idea uh, what to do. Let's just turn that off now because we've got something going here. We've used that as a guide and uh, I've increased the opacity by hitting seven on the keyboard. And we're gonna just paint in here. Let's go in again, Control plus plus, Command plus. To get it bigger on the screen and you can see where I can reduce the size of my brush just using those square brackets and painting inside the eye you can see that we've got some of that uh, texture coming through the eyelid and I'm just slightly over painting here because I'm going to come back into this and I'm going to tidy things up and you can see there just go control Z if you go a bit wrong with the brush stroke just go back in history and same again we're painting over this eyeball. You can see there around the eye, you can see the texture of the eyelid and the eyelashes coming through. Um, you can see I'm just slightly going over the edge of the eyeball. And we can go back in this by hitting X on our keyboard. I'm just going to paint a bit more in here. And I'm going to change my foreground color to white so by hitting the X on my keyboard. And just then going back over the areas, I've spilled a bit of paint over the edge. Let's go down to these lovely uh, teeth down here. Let's hit X again and just go back to black as my foreground color because I've got a white mask, remember. And the uh, black will punch through that uh, layer 
to reveal the layer underneath, which is the layer one face. And you see, we just paint through that. I'm still working at 70%. You might want to work on a, a bit less of opacity. Don't forget, just use your keyboard shortcut. Hit anything from one to naught. Naught will give you 100%. Um, five will give you 50%, of course. Let's just control minus minus and go out of there. And you can see where we're getting up to on this now. Um, we've got something which is looking pretty weird. Mr. Fruit Head, that's the one. Don't forget that you can do Mr. Potato Head if you want to. Uh, just photograph a potato head and just use control T to uh, transform your head. We're going to add um, on this one. It's going to drop off the screen, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to add a brightness and contrast layer. I want you to clip it to the layer below. So we've had our pineapple with the mask active. I've called up the brightness contrast and I've clipped it, which means it'll only affect that layer. And from here on, you can just adjust the brightness and the contrast of that pineapple. We're just adjusting the pineapple layer itself. Nothing else because we've clipped it. We use that little icon to clip it. We've got the little arrow uh, in that layer showing that it's just affecting the layer below. And of course, because it's um, an adjustment layer, we can paint the mask. So with uh, black as my foreground color, I can just take out some of that brightening adjustment there. And it's really only affecting this pineapple layer. Uh, maybe I've just um, taken too much contrast out. Maybe I just need to uh, change it slightly to bring it up a bit. Pop some more contrast back in there again. Uh, I'm just whizzing through this. You're going to take much more time, of course, playing with this. Um, don't forget to do it all in layers. Um, we're going to do a duplicate of this now. So Shift Control Alt T, Shift Command Option E. That's going to give us a duplicate. Mouse down on it and just drag it to the top layer. And we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. Uh, we're also going to take the saturation, the color out of it. So Shift Control U, Shift Command U will uh, take it down just to a little grayscale image. Uh, we're going to put a black mask on there. So hold the Alt key down while you're hitting the mask icon. And we're going to paint through it with white. And what we're going to do with this is to add some modeling. So we're going to do some shadow modeling. So increase the density of those shadows there. And you can see I'm working at 30%, so not too much. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you had too much, it might look like I'm wearing, or you're wearing too much mascara. Or you might end up looking like a panda. So just be careful adding this. We're just really modeling. So we're relighting the image using uh, this multiplied duplicate layer over the top and painting through a black mask. Don't forget we use the Alt key when we uh, call the mask up to uh, invert it from a white to a black. And we're just painting through it with white paint at 30% and just modeling. Uh, there's some features underneath what you might want to accentuate, the outside of the lips. Uh, you might want to just go around the lips itself, just around the outside and drop that shadow a bit darker down there. And you can spend lots of time doing that. Uh, as this is a tutorial, I don't want to bore you to tears. I'll just stop there on that one. So you can see there, we're getting something which is uh, almost finished. You can scare your children with this or whatever. Post it online. Uh, you might want to do as pumpkins for uh, Halloween, whatever else. You can do all kinds of crazy things. So I've done another stamp copy layer. Shift Control uh, E, Shift Command Option E. Uh, again, Alt click on the mask so it's an inverted. And then we desaturate again. Shift Control U. Uh, if I'm going too quickly, just play it through again and uh, you'll see what's going on. And pause it. Don't forget to pause things. Uh, and I'm just painting through with white. Uh, this is in hard light blend mode. You saw me change it to hard light there. This is just going to crunch things up a bit and get your darks darker and your lights a bit lighter. Add a bit of contrast in there. And you can see they're working on the eyes. It's put a bit of contrast in. If you hold down the Alt key and click on the eye icon in the background layer, you can see where you started from and where we're up to. Uh, so I'm going to flatten it, shift control E. Uh, that layer which wasn't switched on, uh, which was our guide layer first of all, you've still got it there. Uh, you can play around with blend modes on the top there because it's uh, available to you. I'm just going to stick it in the bin. Um, so it's looking okay. Um, other things you can do, you can sharpen, don't forget, you can uh, sharpen it with unsharp mask or whatever else you want to do. You can go back in again uh, from here, you can play with brightness contrast. Uh, I'm just leaving it on a normal blend mode. You might want to go into luminosity blend mode from here just so your colors aren't really affected. I don't care. Looks like a pineapple head. Looks like a bad day out in the sunshine. Uh, don't forget, other fruit are available. <laughs> try it with pumpkins, try it with potatoes. But that's what you're going to end up with. It's just really two simple shots using an on camera flash. 
uh, and we've bought it here in the fill shop. Don't forget, you can use this in CS5, CS6 if you want to. Flatten the thing down, uh, save it to your favorite folder, uh, post it online, amaze your friends. That's what we start off with, simple portrait, and you've ended up with a Mr. Pineapple Head. Uh, I hope you've understood all this. Uh, if it's all been too quick for you, uh, just go back and play it and pause things. Uh, play along. Uh, we can warp things later on. But for that, uh, thank you for watching, and it's uh, bye for now.